Hey guys, Josh here, and welcome to a new playthrough I'm going to do. I'm playing quite an old one. It's Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. Um, <laughs> I think this game's like 15 years old. Um, but I played the hell out of it um, when I was young on PS2. And um, recently thought, randomly thought, it'd be cool to replay that. Um, so I managed to get running on a... Let's just skip this cutscene. I managed to get it running on a um, emulator on PC. Um, this is the GameCube version running, um, although I originally played on PS2. Um, but I thought it'd be quite cool to um, play through it again. It's obviously very dated, of course. Um, I'm just going to put my name in quick. Um, very dated. But there's some incredible stuff with story. Um, it's basically about the Big Red One, who are the 1st Infantry Division of the US Army during the Second World War. And basically follow them through the war. They started out in Africa, they went to Sicily, they then went to they were at D Day, and then after pushing into Germany towards the end of the war. So they sort of they covered like the whole war basically. Um so yeah, it's quite an interesting one and the characters are pretty cool, the sort of squad dynamics they do are pretty fun. So yeah, we're gonna give it a go. Um new game. Uh, we're gonna do it on normal. Be interesting to see what difficulty is like for an older game. Obviously, it will be dated, as you will see, uh, compared to sort of modern Call of Duty. Um, definitely a lot slower, um, but probably for story's sake, I think this is one of the best Call of Duties, in my opinion. Like I said, I played through it multiple times. I think I played through it like 10 times when I was younger. So, here we go. Like this on when I get a chance, just so they're on for you guys to make it a bit easier to see what people are saying. This is like sort of fusing into the war, and then it flashes back afterwards. Yeah, let's put them on just to make things a bit clearer for you guys. Right, so we have a Tommy gun. Uh, objectives. Let's have an M1 Garand. Um, controls are a bit weird. I've had to bind them a certain way because they were being a bit weird. X is jump. Oh, sorry, X. It's GameCube bindings. I can't remember what it is originally, but I've got X on a PS4 controller as jump. Triangle, triangle is crouch. Um, squares, reload, circles, melee, and then look around of the joysticks and aiming and shooting is pretty simple. And then R1, of course, for grenade. And you can kind of do this as well. Because the tank is not going to work. Right. I miss Call of Duty being, you know, the wars happening and you're just a part of it. Call of Duty these days, the campaign kind of revolves all around you. It does occasionally do that as well. You want to, it's occasionally during certain bits, it will flicker and try and flip between views. Apologies about that. It's not too often. Let's get the Tommy gun, shall we? Satisfying ping. Miss that grenade cue. Right, 
Well, there's no hit markers. In modern, modern Call of Duty campaigns, you get hit markers to know you've hit people, and you know, back in these days, you just didn't know. <laughs> Do we just keep shooting, or are we supposed to push free? On the bridge! What's your man? Now's your chance to use that rifle, Alan. Do I get this there, dude? Amy's a bit weird. I mean, obviously, I'm using a rebounded controller, so it's not quite accurate as it should be. So I think Amy's a little bit weird. But not, not ridiculously bad. This is a Call of Duty with health as well. Um, no regenning health. You have an actual health bar. You've got to pick up health off the floor. State is as it is graphically. There's a lot going on. Explosives and stuff. Wait for the reload. And now. There's no sprint. You just kind of have one pace. You walk at. I think you can move. Can you move slowly? Yeah, you can move a little bit slowly, but it's no sprint. Oh fuck. Maybe if we move through those buildings we can get a beat on a twenty millimeter Sarge. That Bloomfield's voiced by the guy who played Garnier in Band Brothers. You may recognise the voice. Pressing down switch happens instead of up, so I keep flicking the jetsies occasionally. Stop moving! Dead, dead. Right, MG42, which nice can blow up AA guns apparently. It was a good gun, but I don't think it was that good. Any more enemies to shoot? No. No enemies. Now I've got to do. Find a route across the bridge. Go down this way. Get out of there! Right, got a part bomb marks of it. Judging by that glowing bit. Right, that's that planted. That good old countdown. That was in so many games. <laughs> Somebody called you his Medal of Honor has had that mechanic of plant a bomb, step back and see a little clock ticking. 
mean, some games do it now, but not like an actual analog clock like that. Smoke. Is it up here? Oh, it's been done already. That was health though, so that wasn't a waste. Anyone to kill? I'm expecting a turret segment and I'm not getting it. It's highly disappointing. Subtitles aren't working, or if they are, they're only working during cutscenes, unfortunately. Oh shit. Maybe. Have a look. It's got an angle. Oh fuck! I don't always fall down there. I don't think it's really got an angle on them. It shoots there, but that's it. Alan, get down! Get down! Alan! Medic! Oh shit. Oh god. Bloody hell, got flung there. Okay, that's the first mission done. So now we will flash back to the start of the war when we are um, in Africa, if I remember correctly. Yep, two years earlier. You might recognise that voice as Mark Hamill. With regiments dating back to the American Revolution, it is the oldest continuously serving division in the United States Army. Known as the Big Red One for their distinctive arm patch, the fighting first set sail from New York to the United Kingdom in early August 1942 to begin their training for the Second World War. Under the watchful eye of Major General Terry Allen, the division commander, the fighting first was kept busy, preparing for their first taste of combat. Across the sea, British and German armies clash under the scorching heat of the deserts of North Africa. Amidst these hellish conditions, General Bernard Montgomery and his British 8th Army had been able to hold off Rommel's blitzkrieg attacks through a war of attrition. But the deadlock needed to be broken, and the Big Red One, fresh from their training, waited eagerly for their call to action. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and American President Franklin D. Roosevelt, along with General Dwight D. Eisenhower, devised an amphibious assault directed at the Vichy French-held territories of North Africa. Codenamed Operation Torch, the invasion was to start in late October of 1942, with the 1st Infantry Division embarking for the Algerian coast. Unsure if the German-occupied French forces would attack U.S. troops, bright American flag armbands were to be worn as a deterrent. However, this was the least of the Big Red One's worries, as Rommel's battle-hardened Africa Corps were not about to give in to these young American soldiers without a fight. Okay. So what's quite cool, I remember, is that as you kind of progress through the areas, sort of as you do mission by mission, you see where you are. So we're in Iran, and then you move on to Kasserine Pass, Kasserine, as you go on. All right, let's go. Oh, there it is glitching a bit. It's only occasionally it does that. It's a bit weird. Yeah, storm in a 
beach was fun and all, but I gotta get back. I got tickets to the Yankee games. You're playing the Red Sox, I got box seat. I shut the hell up, Bluefield. I said, can it? Yeah, it's weird why sometimes aren't working. It might be something to the emulator. I'll have to check that. Oh, I didn't apply it when I turned it on. I'll be looking at the settings after. Unless I can pause now. I can. Um, ah. Yep. I need to apply it. Okay. There you go. No, sorry about that, guys. You should now have subtitles for the rest of it, though. Well, at least you can be thankful for that. Oh, shit. Why is it... Okay, it's weird. It's occasionally flicking back into 4x3. I don't know why. I might look into that for future videos. Incredibly difficult to aim. If I can't fix that flickering, I might have to kick it into 4x3 and keep it there. It's weird. The game can do it. Let's just check the settings of the emulator after. Fast. Knock knock! It's the fight first coming to kick your asses! Black Tower, look out! We gotta hit that tower! I did. I already killed it. <laughs> 